Welcome back. It's still Scott. <laughs> this time we're going to finish up section six of working with forms. We're going to take a look at favorites. How much or how often you use favorites. Well, that's going to be completely up to you. Okay, let's let's start by taking a look at how to maneuver around through the different fields. Naturally, point and click, right, is the easiest way. If I want to go to here, I point and click. If I want to go here, I point and click. Uh, but there are other ways to maneuver around through the form. For those of you who don't like to take the time to take your hand off of the keyboard and go to the mouse, there are other ways to maneuver around. So here I'll demonstrate how to maneuver through the form using, uh, we'll start with the tab key. So here I've, I've clicked in the first field on the form. When I press the tab key, it moves down to last name, tab again to first name, tab again to middle name, and it just goes on and on down the field sequentially, or down the form sequentially through the fields when I press the tab key. If I want to go backwards or move up through the form, I hold down the shift key and press tab. So once you get settled in, you're going to find that you have favorites. Um, you're going to have favorite forms. Well, you can have favorite forms, forms that you're going to use frequently. Those are forms that you might want to designate as favorites. Um, for example, in my favorites, I have the NAE, name and address. I have the REQM requisition maintenance, because it's easier to click on the favorites button and select the form there than it is to type in the, the form mnemonic and then click the search button. Okay, so forms are just, they're shortcuts is all they are. So if you have a form open, all you do is you click on the favorite icon, this star right here, and it will add that form to your favorites. You can also add employees and or students to your favorites by clicking the favorite star on the context card. So we have a con uh, favorites, favorites for forms here, and we have a add to favorites star or icon here. This is to add whoever this is to your favorites. This is to add whichever form this is to your favorites. Once saved, you can access your favorites by clicking your favorites button here on this left hand toolbar. So let me open my favorites. And here you can see these are my favorite forms that I've saved. Just I just threw some in there just to show you some examples. OK, so forms are going to be on the right side. People are going to be on the left side. Got that? All right, let me go ahead and close out my favorites. And I'm gonna close this form, so I'm gonna click the cancel button. So I'm gonna click my favorites button to see what kind of favorites I have. And here you can see I have some favorite forms, some favorite people, um, but to, to open one of these, if I wanna view one of these forms, I just click on the form name and then select the open button at the bottom. And just like that, there's my biographic information form. So it's, it's a bit easier, a bit quicker than typing the mnemonic up here and clicking the search button. Not that that takes a long time, but uh, favorites is just a bit of a time saver, okay? Well, that should be pretty much it. Just a, a quick review. Um, Here's the add form to favorites. Here's the add context card to favorites. And up here behind this orange box is the favorites icon to open up your favorites. You open the favorites, you click on the one that you want, click the open button at the bottom and you're good to go. Okay, so let me cancel out of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and log out again for security reasons. So that's it, folks. Um, 
Throughout this entire course, we looked at colleague basic navigation. We went through a familiarization at the beginning. Then we looked at working with people, the basics, entering names and that sort of stuff. And we finished up with six different sections uh, talking about working with forms. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to contact me. I'll throw my phone number up here. I'll throw my email address up here. Okay, so here's what you really need now. You need this um, pass key so that you can submit your training completion form. So the pass key, nine dollar sign underscore seven uppercase G, lowercase s, lowercase c. That pass key is case sensitive. So write it down exactly as it is displayed here, uppercase and lowercase. So take this pass key, go into eTrieve, click on forms, click on forms, and then search for basic. And you'll see the colleague basic navigation completion 1.2. Open that up, enter your pass key in the pass key field, and you'll be good to go. Good to go. Okay. So again, questions, comments, let me know. Y'all be good.